Gate 2024 result is out. We have Rajneesh with us. Rajneesh has scored All India rank 27 in this exam. Scoring a double digit rank is in itself a big achievement. Lot of hard work, perseverance and keeping yourself motivated throughout this journey is very, very important and would have been very important for Rajneesh. Before we begin our discussion with Rajneesh, let me brief you about the uh, journey of Rajneesh. So he did his bachelor's from IIT Guwahati. He uh, completed in 2023. He joined in Hyderabad because Rajneesh, you belong to Andhra Pradesh. So you joined our classroom course ESC plus gate in Hyderabad. So 2023-24 classroom course you joined. Then you joined uh, the conventional practice program uh, 2024. Then you took the gate online test series 2023 from ADZ and 2024 itself. QRC that is quick revision course 2024. So this is what uh, your association with MEDIZ has been. Now uh, to begin with, there are a lot of students who uh, ask that, sir, we are preparing for the gate exam. So is uh, conventional practice program beneficial for gate or uh, I mean, you think that it is only for the uh, ESC means? No, sir, I believe that it's 100 percent beneficial for gate exam. Because right. uh, gate exam just doesn't involve formulas. It also involves the derivation and the process involves the test. So conventional practice programs, our teachers are providing us with from the basics and how to approach a question and how to solve that completely. Uh, so till now, we only had uh, two courses and the second one is second subject is going on right now. First subject is thermodynamics, right. taught by you yourself. And right. I definitely have to say that it is a wonderful class, sir. Uh, the core concepts for thermodynamics were being given by you. Uh, right. Even in the gate exam, my own experience is that one of the thermodynamics questions is not able to solve in the gate exam. Uh, right. In this gate exam, but after your conventional practice program, that I was able to solve it within five minutes, three minutes to five minutes. Great. It's one hundred percent Great. Great. So, uh, Rajneesh, uh, your journey uh, from the IIT Kohati uh to preparing for the gate exam and securing a wonderful rank in your uh, first attempt right so uh i mean the gate level exam that is sometimes the people think that uh, there is a lot of syllabus a lot of competition has to be faced so in one year it is very very difficult to crack and that to be a very good rank so you have done that what has been throughout the preparation, the key factor which you think which made you achieve this? Yeah, First thing is that the teacher, sir, a made easy professor has provided with a wonderful knowledge and the made easy faculty itself is provided with our beautiful books, all the previous year's questions assembled in one place and the test series. Major part was that solving each and every one, every question of the test series was a major improvement. Sir. And uh, short notes and revision. These two have played a major role for me getting this rank. Uh, revision, why it helped me is that uh, one experience is that uh, when Amit Kapkosa was teaching me theory of national, uh, at that time I solved all the POTS questions, all the workbook questions, and I've even written my short notes. Right. So just after two months, after two subjects got finished, I completely forgot about it. Even after referring the short notes, I was not able to understand how this formula works and how that question and solve can be solved. From that point onwards, I started revising every day for uh, 30 to 1, one hour, uh, the short notes every day. And it has helped me a lot in getting this time. Sir. Right. This is a very important point you have brought. And now I it comes to my mind, a lot of questions repeatedly being asked about the short notes. So mm -hmm. uh, in your opinion, is it uh, necessary to make short notes of all the subjects? or you focused on those subjects which you uh, thought that they are very important and there are too many formulas. This is one question. And the second point regarding the short notes is uh, mm -hmm. a very, very common question which the student asks is 
how to make short notes because in my experience what i have seen is when teachers say that you have to make short notes what the people do they will write in small handwriting the same thing which has written in the class notes mm-hmm. few words about this yes sir yes. sir uh for the first question i have prepared the short notes for the major subjects i have not prepared for the material science um mm-hmm. and theoretical subjects it's like i i believe that we have to study everything that is taught in the class so but for the technical part i i believe uh, making a short notes should be a very good thing and for the second question uh, we should not be writing everything that is being taught in the class in short hand writing <laughs> only the important points and important formulas and what we believe that we will forget in the future we'll definitely so how you used to in the future how you used yeah. to get those important points and uh, suppose a student is studying for the first time so how you mm-hmm. can make out that this is the formula or this is uh, an important point i mean what was your modus operandi regarding this um, all the teachers in our uh, who have taught me have marked important one of the boxes i have written everything like that and i also solved the previous year's question right so right. whatever the questions are being repeated and what yes. go- on the formulas that are important i have noted them all in one place so all the previous year ert questions gate questions and everything that is important i have all noted it down in the short notes right this is very important that how you have managed to uh, make your short notes and uh, everybody who is seeing this video preparing or thinking of preparing this is a very important point that uh, in previous year you will see repeatedly questions being asked when you study the classes in the notes itself whatever is required will be taught in the class but within that also there will be some points which will be marked so they can be included in the short notes now uh, <clears throat> we have talked about the uh, short notes you prepared them well you revised it there was one important point which you uh, mentioned which i think everybody should uh, i i mean will benefit from it there are people come to me who say that sir uh, when we study we forget so what they feel is that they are doing something wrong because they are forgetting it uh, what i tell them is that everybody forgets the key is that if you want to retain you have to revise right. it n number of times yes sir that yes, is what yes, you sir. have mentioned right yes, so sir. anybody who is preparing or thinking of preparing you can see uh, rajneesh with a very good rank finally he has also mentioned that he used to forget so he devised a method to overcome that so revision was every day 30 minutes or an hour was for revision revise the short notes continuously along with the subject that's happening at that particular time okay so uh, along with whatever the, the subject was at that particular time in the class uh, you used to revise the short notes did you used to solve the questions also while revising the short notes of previous subject uh, i have marked important questions in previous year questions and uh, in a workbook and only i only used to solve those questions you only used to solve those questions right important ones right so uh, in the first attempt you have got this very good rank so obviously your uh, entire year, year would have been very disciplined how did you manage to overcome the uh, common distractions like uh, spending a lot of time on the social media uh, chatting with friends and all how did you uh, overcome that first thing is that i also got distracted in the mobile itself uh, first thing i did was to remove all the distracting apps i like uninstalled instagram i uninstalled all the games that i used to play before and i completely only used the phone just to talk to my parents or to my friends sir. that's it okay. and just a little bit of relaxing i used to watch youtube that's it but it is pretty important to control the usage of your mobile phone the social media control the usage of the mobile phone right because uh, you you mentioned about the gaming apps uh, and in uh, just for our viewers uh one of the hobbies uh rajneesh has mentioned is playing video game playing chess and uh, cricket also right so yes, playing video game involves the use of uh, digital sources like phone or the computer so you deleted those apps you have been uh, yes. involved in playing the games so you deleted them, yes right? deleted them yeah so that is uh, some sacrifice which you would have done and it has paid it's paid a lot yeah so uh 
anybody who prepares or do does well which i think anybody who does well in any certain area of life uh there are always people around the person who have been very helpful in that journey throughout that journey that there can be parents teachers or some of your very good friends and there are always certain situations which will challenge you and uh, anybody who uh, goes forward with the determination to counter that or to prove himself above that that also helps in motivation so any factor which has been very supportive to you and a factor which has been very very uh, challenging to you supporting was so many sir every teacher who comes to teach us always just does not impart knowledge only but they also impart motivation along with that right and also uh, i have a wonderful roommate they always used to support me uh the seniors we have uh, they always give me motivation sometimes so i just lay around on my bed and won't do anything at the rest of the day so he just comes and gives me the motivation come on we have to do the work and everything that's interesting and uh, yes sir the challenge is that uh, this recent previous 3 4 months is completely full of winter and in hyderabad the temperatures were cold okay. uh it is it has become a very difficult task to wake up every day and go to study all and all and that is the only challenging thing sir okay so winter was the challenging factor and the roommate was the supporting factor because yes, uh, i said it is very interesting because lot of student when we asked them suppose we have taken the class and the next day we have given some assignment next day we will ask whether you have completed it or not so there will be always some people in every batch they will come after the class and they'll say sir uh, my roommate is like this and this when i try to study he has to sleep and when i have to sleep he has to study so there is a lot of disturbance yeah. yeah but in your case you have been lucky or uh, we should say that you have managed it very well right so uh, any advice which you want to give to the aspirants the only advice is that you have to do all the previous year's question right completely do not even leave a single question attempt all the one mark questions in the day two mark questions and along with that esc previous year's main question they will ESCP. definitely help yes sir they will definitely help even for get all the even the single bit will help you get complete question and test series test series is the most important thing for me i i know few people who are not able to do well in the exam because they are not well prepared for with the mouse they were not able to move the mouse properly and they were not able to do the calculation faster so my humble advice is that we also need to get uh, habituated with the mouse in uh, gate is a computerized exam and uh, and for each test series for all the mock tests you are giving just attempt as if they are serious gate exam even in the gate exam you will just believe you will just go with the flow you will do well That's right it. that is that is a very very important advice that uh, the test which you give is not only to assess your performance it is also to train you for the main exam so you should give on the uh, laptop with a mouse so that uh, you can be habituated to the use of the mouse otherwise people struggle with <coughs> the mouse right yes sir so uh, it was wonderful talking to you rajneesh and i hope our uh, listeners have uh, gained a lot of insight about this exam and uh, it was really an enjoyable conversation all the best for your future endeavors and the gate has opened gate of opportunities for you it is up to you to choose whether you want to go for a public sector or you want to do for masters that is your choice now every possibility is open congratulations to you your parents to your roommate also <laughs> thank you for joining us thank you sir